hey everyone, today I'm gonna share with you my top 10 must have creator sim mods which will just make life easier and your sims look so much better and next level. If you want to download anything shown here, I'll have the links to everything included in the description so you can just go ahead and check that out after this video. So let's count down the top 10. Okay, so first my ultimate must have, especially if you use custom content, is the more columns mod. So this allows you to choose the number of columns in CAS and you can choose between three, four and five columns. This is so useful because you can see everything without excessive scrolling and also if you have a lot of custom content you can see everything on the same page so it's so much easier to find what you're looking for in CAS. It just speeds everything up and it makes everything so much smoother. Another great quality of life mod is the tidy details mod by Soaring Sparrows. So this mod essentially creates these little categories for sorting items within each main category. So this is very useful to avoid layering of CC so say if you've got a skin you know not putting two skins on that happens to me sometimes and it makes things look kind of weird and clippy and again it also just makes you be able to find stuff much quicker because everything is subcategorized and it's just a lot easier to see what everything is and just breaks up the list a little bit okay so now one that's super useful if you like to create content or even just take screenshots of your sims and this is the stand still in cast mod so this really annoys me when i'm in cast and the sim they're doing their little haha -ha animations and <laughs> they just it's so hard to get them looking good and you know just want to show them off so this is perfect for that and it just removes all the EA animations and they'll just have a blank expression so super easy and great for pictures. If you don't want your sim to stand completely still or you just can't download this mod for whatever reason you can also use the sims cheat called cast clock speed so this will just basically change the animation speed of your sim so it might be a bit useful if you still want a little bit of expression in the photos but you know it's going by really fast you can't really pause it in cast so you can type in a zero so that will be your sim frozen and you can also use a decimal number between zero and one for kind of like a slow motion effect and then if you want a faster speed you need a number above one so this is also just a super handy little hack that i decided to put in here because sometimes you want a little bit of movement or expression okay so this mod is a cast mod but it's also really useful for gameplay it has a lot of implications so it's the more traits mod and this is exactly what it sounds like and it simply adds more slots for sims traits and also lot traits so this means that adult young adult and elder sims now have five slots teens have four and children have three so that's just gonna add a bit more variety for your sims maybe make them feel more well-rounded also a great thing about this mod and i guess just if you didn't know this you can just do this in the sims anyway is you don't actually have to use all the slots so you create a sim with just one trait or if you want to you know keep this mod in your game but just use this kind of three trait standard number you can just select three traits and just leave those other two blank and it will still work perfectly so it's really great because you can kind of just turn it off without much effort as well okay so if you're like me and you don't really love the aesthetic of the default cast background you can make some easy switches to make it more aesthetically pleasing. So my favourite cast background is this old star background by Little Dika. And also some really great ones are these plain colour backgrounds, both by Urban Sims and Ocean Sims. Just some really nice, cute colours, maybe if you're filming a TikTok or something. Also, if you're a content creator, there's this super useful cast background that's like a green screen. If you know how to remove a green screen, this is super fun because you can do so much. Okay, so another mod that's kind of about the aesthetic of cast is the cast light mod so this mod offers four different types of lighting and they really change the vibe of cast enormously so there are low light options and there's also a neutral light option and city lights which have a bit of color to them so yeah that can just kind of like set the mood you know make a candle lit or just if you are in cast a lot you know these small things can make the game a lot more fun now if you're a person who takes a lot of screenshots from cast you're really going to want to look into cast poses so here's some yearbook ones here they normally override a trait and animation so just be aware of that because like sometimes I have some on my evil trait and sometimes I click it and I'm like oh my god <laughs> they're like voguing or whatever it's super useful just for taking good screenshots with like good lighting and cast and yeah there's some really cool poses out there it's slightly annoying sometimes because sometimes there'll be two poses that you want and they're both on the same trait but overall most of the time they kind of cycle through different poses on one trait so yeah hopefully there's not like too much clashing with that okay so a fun little one I think actually just like makes a small quality of life change is just changing the default underwear in cast so this collection by grim cookies they have a default underwear override that's just like this neutral color here really pretty and you can also download just this underwear cc which is also super useful i feel like sometimes i want to do pajamas with just like a bra and panties or something but it's like the in-game ones that either like full lingerie or, or like a sports bra so that's perfect for this because you know it's just like kind of like the skims underwear i guess that's kind of the vibe it gives me but you know just elevated basics i guess all right so if you want 
to make sins quickly. I find that the detail edit mode is really annoying. So this mouth scale slider is really helpful because you basically just drag the corners of the mouth and it will change the mouth size really quickly. And it also provides a larger range of mouth sizes than is default in game. So super easy to use and can just create a bit more variety for your sims. Okay, so now for my final mod. This one is kind of like a two in one because they kind of fit together and I wanted to keep it to 10. But <laughs> this one also I'd recommend in conjunction with CC eyelashes. So first of all, the eyelash filler mod. So this basically fills your sims waterline and it makes the lashes look much thicker and better and overall just blends everything in a lot nicer. And then so with this one, I'd recommend the remove EA eyelashes mod. So this one just takes off those block eyelashes that are default. You know, they can really ruin the vibe, I think, like especially if you're using CC eyelashes and they're just kind of like, you got that big clunky line that kind of looks like eyeliner. So yeah, that will just take those straight off. I think honestly just changing the eyelashes makes such a huge difference for a sim for me and just makes them look so much more real. So I'd really recommend trying these two just for like such a small change. Also, if you want eyelash recommendations, my go-tos are the MM Sims Maxis Match eyelashes. So these have like a few different presets. I just think they look really natural and they blend really well with the game style. So I love those ones if you want a recommendation. If you want more cast custom content recommendations, I'm also going to be making a video next week with all my recommendations for skins, eyes, everything like that. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. Also, if you're watching in the future, I will link that now so you can go check it out. If you're unsure about how to download mods and CC, I also have a quick tutorial here to get you started. It's just a quick 60 second, not too in depth. But yeah, I hope these recommendations and links were helpful for you. Everything is linked down below again on my blog. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.